We're following two breaking news stories. A, a deadly shooting in downtown Birmingham. Police tell us that a man was gunned down. This is off of 2nd Avenue South and 18th Street. CBS 42 News reporter Jamie Ostroff is live there on the scene. And Jamie, what have you learned from police about this shooting? Sherry, the saddest part that I've learned is that this victim is young. Police have not given us an exact age yet. They are still very much trying to piece things together. Let me give you a look at what is going on right now. This scene has been up since a little bit before three o'clock this afternoon. Police say everything really happened in an alley here along 2nd Avenue South, right behind this red brick building that I'm standing next to. You can see police are still looking in there for evidence right now. Again, this happened just before three and according to police, the victim came here in a car with some friends and they were meeting up with a car, another car full of people, according to police, and it looks like there was some sort of argument, and that's when, according to witnesses, multiple shots were fired. One lieutenant on the scene told me he and a couple of officers did get here to find the victim in the street alive. They tried to perform CPR, he says, but it was too late. Now, there are still some loved ones here on the scene. Very tragic. There were people here crying earlier. And while they are coping with this tragedy, there are still a lot of unanswered questions. To have an individual land in the middle of the street has definitely uh, got us a little puzzled. So we're trying to determine what happened, what led up to this. Police say the people who were in the car with the victim are in for questioning right now. And as for the people in that other car, investigators say they are still looking for that other car that was involved. They still haven't gotten a very detailed description for us yet. They also tell us there are no suspects in custody right now. Live in Birmingham, Jamie Ostroff, CBS 42 News.